Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in the middle of a series right now. 10 things I wish I had known before getting into direct sales. So if that's interesting to you, keep watching and you can like and subscribe to the channel and also you can even turn the little notification bell on if you wanna see when I post another video. So let's get right into it. Today is number seven of the 10 things I wish I had known before getting into direct sales. And this is a really important one if for anyone who wants to be successful in direct sales and anyone who wants to make it an actual viable income. And that is how to recruit, okay? This seems really elusive and it was really uh, elusive to me as I started in my first and second direct sales businesses that ultimately I failed at. <laughs> and um, it has become a lifeblood of my business in, uh, in my current company that I'm with, which is Perfectly Posh. Um, and I will show you my website here so you can check it out. But why would you want to recruit? Okay, the very basics of recruiting is you want to have more people on your team. You want to help them start their own business and be successful. And that helps you be successful. So you helping them actually helps you as well because you, the company will start, depending on whatever company you're with, you will start getting commissions based on how your team is doing, right? So you get a little bonus for helping somebody else get started in their business, and that is how you grow your team and grow your income. <laughs> so currently on my team now, we have, I think, about 86, somewhere around 80 to 85, 86 people, um, which is huge, right? That's 80 people below me that I can help I can help with their business that I recruited or had a hand in recruiting. So that's kind of a big deal. I was able to figure out how to do this over the years in making mistakes in my last company and the company before that that I was with. So how do you do it? How do you recruit? I think the biggest thing that I learned that I wish I had known before is that you're not convincing somebody. Your job is not to convince somebody to join your team. Let that sink in. Your job is actually to just share the opportunity and it's their job to decide if it's right for them or not. So you are essentially handing them an olive branch. You're extending the opportunity, the information. You're uh, asking good questions, right? So asking um, what they're interested in, what's the most exciting thing to them about the company. So you want to actually have a conversation with this person, make sure that you're putting their best interest first before your own. Um, because when you're thinking about it, like in terms of convincing, there, there's something that inherently feels wrong about that, right? You're like, there's part of your brain that's thinking that you are scamming that person or pulling one over on them. And that's just not the case if you're with a good, reputable company. Let me be clear that if your company um, ends up putting people in debt more often than not, uh, it's not a good company to to sell or pitch to uh, pitch about to other people to join you. If it's a you know, for example, like you hear that word all the time, a pyramid scheme, it's not okay. And and I really want to be clear that MLMs, multi level marketing, are not inherently bad. There, I'm with an MLM now, and it's a great company to work with. I'm not in debt. My team members do not have to take a credit card out to join um, and put a bunch of inventory on their credit card. That is not what we do. If that is what your company is about, you really want to take a step back because I was with at least one, maybe both, I'm not sure, companies before this that had a credit card just with for themselves that you could get to take out a bunch of debt to, to buy your inventory. I don't think that's a smart thing to do. 99% of the time, I don't think people are ready for that kind of commitment and it's not a good 
first investment to get into. It's just not. So, um, so when you are recruiting somebody, feel comfortable and confident about the company that you're with. That's number one. And also you want to feel successful because how are you going to share the company, share the business, want somebody to join you and essentially have you be their mentor if you're not confident and comfortable mentoring and speaking about the business, okay? So you want to make sure that your head is in the right space, that you have your facts down, like you understand how the company works and the commissions. You don't have to know everything. You don't have to have all the answers, but you need to be sure in your heart that you are in a good company and that also it's a place where you can um, grow and develop and be in a positive atmosphere. You can make more money. You can learn about um, different techniques on how to sell or have parties or whatever it is, and you feel comfortable with that. Maybe there's incentive trips in your company. I'm going to Mexico in two weeks for free, Puerto Vallarta, and it's an all expense paid trip. It's the second one that I've earned so far in my company. And I'm super pumped, you guys. So if, if you have something like that to share, um, maybe you're not a trip earner yet, but maybe you know that there's a trip every year and you're excited about it, share that with this potential recruit. You also really want to tell somebody why you think they'd be good at this, okay? Don't be shy. Be confident and look at them directly in the eye and just tell them how you feel about why they'd be a good fit for this company, whatever you're with. Um, I think it's really important to have um, a relationship with somebody that you are potentially signing on. So making sure that you know about them, that you support them in their decision, whatever it is that it's right for them, and that they understand that and that they feel supported by you. So they have to know, like, and trust you no like and trust is a really great, um, I, I don't know, it's just a good thing to think about. Do they know you? Do they like you? Do they trust you? If one of those isn't there, work on that. <laughs> um, and, and really, again, you're just sharing the opportunity. You're just sharing the information. You are not convincing anyone. You're telling them why you think they'd be a good fit, why you, you think they'd love this company, and why it would benefit them, right? It's all about them and why they would wanna be part of it. So I hope this helped you. It's not convincing anyone. Um, once you get that out of your head and realize that you're doing a service to, by sharing the opportunity with many, many people, um, then the sky's the limit. You will be talking you know, about having 80 team members, just like I am right now. If you have any questions or comments, if there's something I forgot that you want to mention about recruiting, drop it down below. Send me a message if you have any questions about any of this. If you are interested in um, learning more about our opportunity, I'm an open door. I'm an open book. You get it. All right. So happy Sunday. I will talk to you guys later. I hope you're having a great week so far. And don't forget to take some time to pamper yourself because you totally deserve it. Bye.